All right, guys, welcome back. So we're talking about this Redetti, Redetti Computing. I don't know how to even pronounce the name, RGTI stock. And um, I wanna go over the levels for this stock and what I'm watching from here for this name. For the first time we're covering this name, we were definitely uh, watching it from here, from like seven, eight to all the way 13, and then it had a pullback. And then it had a breakout here at yesterday with a pretty decent volume and volume is staying high. And we were talking about this one in uh, Discord. Discord is completely free, you can join, but if you start spamming, I'll kick you out. But yeah, take it easy over there. But we were talking about this one breakout, but as a company, uh, well, this stock, I mean, we like to call uh, things by their name. Uh, it's a penny stock that came, uh, I mean, it was penny stock throughout this time uh, up until they did this offering. And they offer it at a very, very cheap level. Uh, I was digging a little bit of a SEC. And January, uh, actually November 27th, uh, they do an offering at a fixed rate, um, 50 million shares. Uh, actually, yeah, 50 million shares at $2. Um, and I don't know, we engaged API, aliens, global partners, placement agent, or ex okay, they sell 50 million. It's basically offering, okay? So, and those, as soon as those things were offered and the company announced it on November 27th, <laughs> uh, coincidence, stock gaps and it starts basically from there melting higher and higher and higher and uh, today it hit as high as $19. Volume again, very high volume today uh, on a Friday 27th, 300 million traded. But to me, it is no more than, yes, we know quantum computing in general is a theme in general in the market. There are many other names that I'm watching, such as, um, what are those names that I was watching? Ion Q, uh, which is still holding up. But RGTI is another name. Well, let's just stick to with this one. There are like four or five names that I was watching uh, as a quantum, but the main one is Google. It all started with a Google. So $12.80, that was the breakout area I was watching. Broke out uh, today, kind of inside a day, but it's still gapped and traded 10% higher. Uh, in the morning, maybe um, it did shook off some people, but a lot of option activity, very options driven stock. And all those offerings that happened, I'm pretty sure. I'm like not even 100%. I'm like 500% sure anybody who bought it for $2, they're out of the stock already. And they dumped all of these uh, into the market. Uh, you can take a look at it on a dilution tracker if you want to keep an eye. Because first I came to have a look at what's going on with the outstanding shares. And I saw that uh, from September to this like current, their outstanding shares increased from 190 million to uh, 280 million. And I'm like, okay, so let's take a look. What's going on? And then I, I, I came up with this one where, uh, yeah, they did an offering proposed. And also, if you have an, uh, uh, keep an eye on the insider activity, well, they have been dumping as well. They have been pretty much selling every other day. Uh, even today, uh, 3.8 million, uh, the four former officer, former officer, former, this guy has been selling uh, at 9, 11, 15. Uh, and also, well, what are the levels to watch? Well, the very first thing is if you're trading options, you got to be careful. This is not something to, uh, to mess with, especially with weeklies, because very high option activity, 400,000 almost calls traded, 211,000 puts traded. And when I went through, filtered through the contracts, look at these contract expirations. G uh, December 27th or January 3rd, which means ultra short dated, very short dated, which means very speculative, okay? And as soon as these options expire, I mean, 
you have to keep an eye following day what people are doing because people were to uh, basically flipping this name uh, throughout this day today uh, on a dailies okay on a freaking dailies so it is hot money we know uh, the theme is quantum computing how long it's gonna stay I don't know but shorts getting uh, have been getting squeezed on this one we can take a look at that particular data as well but the short float overall it was uh, older one but 16 17 percent of the float does this company worth four billion <laughs> no absolutely not but we'll take a look at the short activity but it is purely driving on a momentum so you have to treat it as a as such and not get uh, again these videos purely for entertainment purposes only but i personally would not get sucked into this name thinking that this is an investment this is purely trading uh vehicle where i mean overall market has been chill and that's why a lot of people i mean it is just a seasonality that we have where people uh, come and place smaller cap names when we have uh, low volume in overall market as soon as volume returns in a couple of weeks you will see these names fade and a lot of people will be uh, basically shorting it a lot of volume that came in for the shorts I mean the option activities I think they are sales people are selling uh, puts and calls to collect premium on elevated uh, IV uh, are they gonna do more offering well you have to keep an eye on the market and it would be very smart if they do so because this price is a lot higher than they did it at two dollars uh, a month ago so this is the total short uh, again this is not a very accurate data but it is from what is being reported okay so for today 43 percent of the total volume short yesterday 32 48 for uh, 57 before that and again 20th uh, 40 44 so not really high I want to say so which means uh, it is being driven mainly mainly by option activity and uh, flipping day traders okay so what are the support levels well when it comes to stocks when they run away I don't use anything crazy I just stick to the five day and 20 day moving average so five day at the moment uh, 12 dollars and uh, 84 cents so if it does pull back this is the support area because this was the breakout area on a 10 minute chart I think I was watching hourly chart so or that's where I would see some sort of a uh, um, support but if it doesn't hold next level would be seven dollars and 66 cents that's the 20 day moving average uh, for the stock as a next level of support uh, and breakout area well psychological level for this name would be now twenty dollars can it push higher um, possible uh, closing price was 17 but I would treat it as a purely just uh, trading name and uh, yeah it is it is it can end up being um, very soon actually it's not gonna take too long as soon as overall market uh, volume returns uh, it, it, will, it will come right back down to uh, around like tens maybe sevenths maybe even six and then come towards fours in like two months or three months again uh, if you are if you disagree agree uh, it doesn't matter uh, everybody it, it this is the market okay uh, there's always two sides of the market actually three sides of the market somebody's bullish somebody's bearish and somebody's on the sidelines so I don't have a position in this name I'm not trading it but I think it's getting a little overheated can it push higher maybe a little bit more but I don't think that it's gonna go a lot higher than this uh, maybe 20 22 25 but market capitalization doesn't justify what's going on with the overall uh, health of this company but theme is there momentum is there uh, so still watching it to the upside but if it pulls back those are the levels I would be watching this is the video for RGTI stock Thanks for watching. Hope you all having a good weekend. Take care. Peace.